Adoration, confession, thanksgiving and supplication, acts. Confession, what a gift we have been given as Christians that we are allowed to ask God for forgiveness. That doesn't get in the way of trying to make it right with someone who we have deliberately hurt or someone by whose omitting to do something we have wronged. We have to try and make it right with that person. But we can still ask God for forgiveness and know that God will forgive us even if that person doesn't. We have the ability to ask God to wipe our slate clean through the death of Jesus. We know that we will be forgiven. Even if we don't feel forgiven, we are forgiven. Uh, adoration and confession. And if we don't feel forgiven, uh, we know that we have that added um, help of feeling. It doesn't make us more forgiven because God forgives us the moment we ask. But we know we can have the added uh, sense of forgiveness if we go and confess our sins uh, to a priest who will assure us of God's forgiveness. So adoration, confession, and then thanksgiving. And if we're feeling a bit down, and I don't mean depressed, uh, and then when we're depressed in some way, we need, we need the help of a professional. But if we're just feeling uh, a bit low, then we can list all those things that we have to be thankful for. Uh, and sometimes it's quite a good thing uh, if you're a writing sort of person to write it down, or if you're a drawing sort of person uh, to draw it, or if you, you like photographs uh, to collect them uh, and to make a montage in some sort of way or a list of all those things that you are thankful for in your life uh, to just especially at a time like this that is so difficult one of the things that can raise our spirits is to stop and to consciously bring to our awareness into this time of difficulty those many things for which we have to be thankful um, and sometimes um, if we haven't got many things that we feel we can be thankful for then that's a real spur to know that we need to seek uh, the help of others. Um, if um, turning to God in thankfulness doesn't bring us some kind of light in this dark times, then please, please do make sure you reach out uh, to seek the help of somebody else. So adoration that gives us the bigger picture of God holding us and the whole of creation in his hands. Confession that allows us to know that we are forgiven the things that we've done wrong all the things that we have failed to do. Thanksgiving and then supplication. And in a world like ours and in our lifetimes, how true is it that we need day by day to ask for God's help and God's strength? And in that prayer group that I told you about, we would always spend the second half of our time together bringing people we knew or situations that we knew about before God in prayer. Now, in this day and age, we wouldn't, when, when we don't, we're not encouraged to share uh, individuals' prayer needs openly with others without their consent. So that's very important. Never share a prayer need of another person with another person unless you've gained their consent. Uh, I was in a prayer group in the 70s and the 80s when uh, there wasn't GDPR. But nowadays, please do get consent if you're going to pray with another person. But on your own, you can, of course, pray. But we can pray for the needs of the world together. And that's no idle thing. We are opening uh, the needs of the world and the needs of other people to the God, giving God permission to let his Holy Spirit pour into the lives of others and into the lives of the world and into uh, the needs of our world adoration, confession, thanksgiving and supplication.